everyone. This is my mom, Brenda. This is my daughter, Rachel. And this is Night All Fibers, a knitting podcast where we talk about all things crafty. This is episode 44, so welcome back. And our social media will be linked down below along with show notes, so if you're interested in anything that we have been talking about, right down there. <laughs> And also don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the bell mm -hmm. notification to give us a thumbs up. That helps our uh, podcast to be easier to find and kind of pop up on searches, so that would really help us out. Today is February, February 12th, 2020. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I always mess up on that. Um, yeah, We are coming to you from Houston, Texas. Where the weather is gray and cold and rainy, and it is sweater weather and hand knit weather. So, it is, yeah. Yay. Okay, so what are you drinking today? I am drinking Coke Zero in my Hello Kitty tumbler. Um, tea will be later tonight. What are you drinking? I am drinking tea. This is Haney and Sons Rubius something. Rubius chai? Yeah, Rubius chai, yeah. So uh, we have reached over 500 subscribers, so stay tuned to the end when we talk about how to enter our giveaway. Yep. Okay, so grab something to drink and a project to work on and let the crafting begin. We're going to start with Stitch by Stitch. Okay. Um, and I'm giving a huge shout out to Cherry Pie Cottage, which is a new podcast. Well, not new, but new to us. Um, I think they've been doing it about two years. Mm -hmm. A husband and wife in Lubbock, Texas, Jenny and Jared. Uh, she makes beautiful yarn and beautiful bags, and he does uh, wood pens. I will uh, share all their links below, but I ordered this beautiful, oh, it's so adorable, this Little Mermaid bag. It has a gradient... Um, handle on the outside that has gold metallic fish fish scales on it and that's the same fabric that's on the inside and I absolutely absolutely adore this bag so thank you Jenny and I have ordered yarn from you which is beautiful as well okay. inside this bag is my first project I'm going to talk about I got this yarn at East Texas Fiber Festival in November and it is from Diaris Made it is called gemstones on the four ply fingering it is blues and greens and rust and it is absolutely gorgeous mm -hmm. and here's his tag hopefully y'all saw that um, we're using a new lens today on the camera so hopefully things will be clear yeah we had a little trouble with focus so this is take two and yes. we'll see how it goes yes. I decided to cast on a sock head hat. I knew that that is what this yarn wanted to be the minute I bought it. I just, it just took me a while to get it cast on. Yeah. So I am doing, I did three inches of ribbing instead of the four that the pattern calls for. And the sock head hat is free on Ravelry. Um, and I'm only going to go to eight inches before I begin the decreases rather than the 12 because 12 inches for a slouchy hat is too much for somebody I feel of my age. Maybe a younger person it would be better, but I just like that that better. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm I'm loving it. I love the yarn. I love the project. I love my project bag. So, okay. yeah, that is my first work in progress. So I retrieved Abby because she was about to make some noise. She likes burrowing in the bed. And yeah. So I grabbed her so she wouldn't make that noise. So now we have puppies on our lap. Yeah. <laughs> so my first work in progress is a fingerless mitt, or no, glove. Fingerless glove. Mm -hmm. I decided that's what I wanted to call it. The ones that have fingers are, are fingerless gloves. gloves instead of fingerless mitts. Mm -hmm. um, and these little stitch markers here mark where I started knitting the fingers. And so this is Teeny Button Studios mm -hmm. in uh, 
Voodoo Queen. It was leftovers from my mom's socks that she knit. Yes. And mm -hmm. these fingerless mitt gloves are for my mom. So. Yeah. And I like my uh, the ends of the fingerless gloves to come up a little higher so mm -hmm. they cover more of my finger. Um, it's Thank you, Kirby. the leap pattern mm -hmm. on Ravelry. I don't know if it's available anywhere else. Um, it is a free pattern. Yeah, and it's a really mm -hmm. great free pattern. The ring finger, though, that first round where they want you to cast on four stitches at the very beginning, um, it's important for me to put the first two stitches on the back needle at the end of the round and then the first two stitches at the beginning of the round. Because then it the doesn't magic push loop. the yeah I was using magic loop on it. Because then it doesn't push that one finger back in an odd angle within mm -hmm. the knitted material. Good tip. So yeah, I think the pattern could have specified that slightly better, mm -hmm. but it's a wonderful free pattern. <laughs> Somebody's by the front door. Must be the mailman or your dad coming in and out. Yeah, so. Oh, you're such okay. a tough puppy, aren't you? You're so tough. <laughs> okay. Um, I am working on this is the new cast on since our last podcast. This is a new line from Opal called Cheeky Friends or Naughty Friends. Um, really fun collection. And this one is Joke Biscuit. I don't sometimes translation from German to English isn't always the best but um, yeah it is colorway number nine seven six seven I have one completed and I am on the foot of the second one awesome. um, I did 20 rows of ribbing 56 rows for the leg and the reason I know that is because I ended my rounded toe and then just cast on right away um, and didn't pull out to see if I could get it to match perfectly because it just that would have taken too much time to figure out. So it was easier to count the rows of legs so that I had the same amount um, of length. So these are being knit on my Knit Pros Knitter's Pride Zing US1 2.25 millimeter, 64 stitches, heel flap and gusset, which I love. Um, yeah, this has been a fun, cheerful knit because my knitting, although it seems like I've knit a lot lately, I feel like my knitting mojo has been very slow. I'll knit a, like a round and then I just put it down and... And it's been twice as long. It's been about a month instead of two weeks. It has been, yeah. So it's yeah. been double the amount of time that we normally go in between recording. Yes, so yes. The amount we've done is considerably less compared to... Time frame. Yeah. Yeah. But I think, you know, sometimes it is that way. If you have more mojo or more ambition to be knitting, and other times you just... I don't know. Let us know. How's your knitting mojo been since the first of the year? Are you burnt out from knitting all those Christmas gifts, or are you... We didn't knit excited? Christmas gifts, No, though. but a lot of people do. And, yeah. Um, are you excited to be knitting new stuff, or are you kind of mm -hmm. struggling like we are? Yeah. Let okay. us know. So, let's see. What, what else are you I working did? on? Um, I've been working on the Throwback by Andrea Mowry. Andrea Renee Knits. I was, let's see, right here, and so I've knit three inches extra on the body, and now I'm working the ribbing, mm -hmm. and so I'll have one more inch to go on the ribbing for the body, and then I'll bind off, and I'll have bands to do, collar, yeah. and sleeves, and it will be done, but it's, after having to rip back to make it the proper length for my body, I'm glad I did that, but I just, I, think I don't that slowed down your progress. I don't work, want to work on it. I kind of hate it. <laughs> I mean, it's a beautiful pattern. It's a beautiful sweater. It's not that. It's just, I hate that I had to rip out and start again. Yeah, and now I just, I don't want to work on it. It's like, yeah. no, I don't like this project. <laughs> so... Yeah. Yeah. Very real feelings for my knitting. <laughs> Not always positive. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that one will eventually get done 
but it's really not going anywhere yeah. fast right now. Yeah. I think this is what might have slowed down my knitting. Okay, I was about right here last time where my finger is. So I had maybe an inch cast on. This is the Mycroft sweater from Isabel Kramer and I have split for the sleeves and I'm working on the body so I moved my marker already because like she said this is take two and I have this beautiful little itty bitty delights lemon bundt cake progress keeper on here. The broken rib on this sweater is absolutely gorgeous but it was so time consuming to do. I know I'm going to love the finished product but the process of knitting it was not enjoyable. Mm -hmm. um, I do love how she has this ribbing on your raglan increases and she is carrying that through on the body so I can't say too much because it's a paid for pattern but it is the way she writes her patterns are just so brilliant. Um, but she does write with very few words, so you have to pay attention. You really have to pay attention and be intuitive and use your brain and figure out, now what is she trying to get me to do? Um, it's not an Andrea Mallory pattern where she really is very, very clear and holds your hand throughout the whole pattern. It's very dry. This is being knit on, uh, I think, US Sixes. It's worsted weight. Knit Picks, Wool of the Andy Superwash, Fjord Heather. And I had trouble when all of my stitches were on the needles for the whole um, sleeves and everything, that no matter what point protector I used, the, they would just pop off. And I had plenty of cord, that wasn't the issue, it was just the point protectors didn't want to stay on. Mm -hmm. So I ordered these little toggles off of Amazon and you just squeeze them, pop it on, let go, and they stay on and your knitting's not going to come off. So. so I recommend these little toggles. And like I said, you can get them anywhere, uh, craft store. I just chose to order fun colors in bulk from Amazon for a really reasonable price. Hopefully this sweater will go faster now that I have separated for sleeves and um, yeah. Okay. Hopefully it'll go better. So, what else are you working on? I have been trying to work on these sock tube socks, which I can't find the first one. Yep. Uh oh. Completely missing. I had it the first time we recorded. <laughs> um, but I had the toe and the cuff done. So, this is Harold and his purple crayon, and I have. The stitches picked up and the first row worked for a toe right now. Mm -hmm. So I had Drew, who is with Scarlet on Instagram, crank mm -hmm. sock tubes for me and I'm finally starting to make a dent on it. <laughs> um, the first one still needs the heel put in, but I wanted to get the toes done and get the socks mainly cut off from the main tube before I put heels in. And you'll get two pairs of socks out of that easily. Yeah, which will yeah. be great. One will be shorty socks, though. Yeah. So I'm using awesome. US 1 2.25 Knitter's Pride Carbons. How do you like those? Uh, I've used them in the past. I like them. I'm not picky about what I'm using for a sock tube because it's very minimal knitting that's required that's on true. it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I have a little poodle bag that I made a while back that wasn't selling so I just confiscated it for myself because mm -hmm. hello I have a little black poodle named Kirby. Yeah. Um, I decided that I needed to cast on some Valentine socks and this is an opal. Um, it's in their jazz colorway and I believe it's Chicago is a colorway name and it is 9817. Mm -hmm. Here's the band. Um, it's really, really fun. And all I have is 20 rows of uh, ribbing, or 10 rows, 10 rows of ribbing because these will be shorty socks. Yeah. I wear shorty socks most of the time. And so, uh, there it is. 
I'm just the start of it. Awesome. Uh, I can't decide if I want to do 15 rows, so five more rows of ribbing before I go into my um, heel flap and gusset, or I don't know. Decisions, decisions. Yeah. But I'm going to give the rest of the skein to Rachel, and then she can make some shorty socks for herself. And yeah. We'll share the skein and. Just the perfect way to share yarn is share the love. Yep. Finish yeah. one project and then pass it down. Yep. Okay. So. And whatever I have left will just go into a nice blanket because I love opal and blankets. They make the best blankets. Yeah, you have made quite a few that way. Well, one for sure. Yeah. Um. Let's see. What else do you have? I Anything else? only have one more project, and it is Good Morning City, the Hunter Vosser line of opal, and I've cast this on within the past two days, so this actually has been getting some decent progress done. That is giving you joy. Yeah, this is a whole repeat of the color sequence, <laughs> so it's a the longest color sequence I've knit in opal before. Mm -hmm. I used 56 stitch count and yeah I'm really happy with it. I already marked for my heel so it's just been a fun cheerful colorway to cast on. Yeah. Um, yeah not that much more to say about it. Is the Hunter Voster the line they do on paintings? It is yeah. yeah. So that's an old colorway. It is yeah. But I like purchasing opal and I may have purchased more lately on Etsy. Um, it's actually really affordable. It is very affordable and it mm -hmm. lasts 10 years or longer. Just a great hard wearing workhorse yarn that yeah patterns up beautifully. So yeah I think you told me last night mom you're never gonna knit through your whole opal stash. No I don't think you will. <laughs> oh well. So, oh well. Anyway. Anyway, yeah, let us know. How's your Nitty Mojo been lately? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's all I've got that I'm currently working on. Same here. All my whips yeah. have been showing. Yep. So do we want to move on to all stitched together? That sounds good with me. I only have one thing complete. I have two things completed. Okay. Why um, don't you go first? Okay. Let me just set this down. I have finished one pair of opal socks, and this is also a Hunter Vosser colorway. Um, I don't know the name of it, but it is colorway 2101. This was in my stash for a very long time, and this one I did get matching exactly. Yeah, they look great. So, um, yeah, rounded toe, 20 stitches of ribbing, just mm -hmm. standard, done, first pair for the year. And, um, yeah, not much else to say on that other than they're done. Yeah, so I have a finished pair of socks as well. Um, before I cast on that opal pair, this was primarily getting a lot of the Nitty mm, Love. I love that one. So this is Night Owl Fiber Yarn in the Haggard colorway with a gray Barn Owlette Mini. Mm -hmm. And so this colorway is available now till the 15th of February. I really loved it. Go it, treat yourself. Yeah, so if you're interested, it's there and... They get re-released um, a year later, so, you know, if you're interested in it now, it's there. But if not, it'll be in a year. <laughs> yep. Uh, this was 56 stitch count as well, a US 1. And my favorite bind-off is the Elizabeth Zimmerman Sewin bind-off. Yes, I love that bind-off. Um, I think I first heard about that bind-off was through her Burgun the Burgundy book of hers, like knitting lessons or something. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I really love that book. Mm -hmm. It's and a good stretchy bind off. It is, and I love the bind off. So I use an afterthought heel, mm -hmm. and I use the Kirby Warby afterthought heel tutorial on YouTube. So mm -hmm. if you're looking to try out some new things on socks, I highly recommend those. Yeah. 
And that is my finished pair. I do have the second one. I just yeah. don't have a blocker for it at the yeah. moment. Um, I have a hop hop pad or um, what's another name for it? I'm drawing a blank. I'm drawing right a blank. Now. Anyway, my mom used to crochet these, and she would just chain 75, 80 stitches. I think mm -hmm. I did 90 for this one, um, and then she just join it in the round and then crochet single crochet a tube like a cowl and then when you have enough where you can fold it in half and the ends meet it'll either be square or rectangular depending on how many you chain on and um, yeah this is out of Patton's classic wool so it will felt when I wash it which I'm fine with that'll just make it that much stronger and more heat resistant to get hot dishes out of the oven yep hot pot pad or yeah. So this was a slog to knit or to crochet though. I did not enjoy mm -hmm. it. Usually I would use Red Heart, but to me Red Heart is not like it was when my mom was making them 20 years ago. It was a coarser, not as soft, not as thin, and that made really great pot holders. Yeah. Hot Pop has pot holders. There you go. That's the other word. Um, so I just went with Patton's classic wool mm -hmm. and I bought another skein and kind of a mustard color to do another one I might get to it this year I might not yeah. I have put away the ones that my mom made because they were getting a little worn a little stained and she's not around to make them anymore so yeah I kind of wanted to hold on to them um, yeah because they're kind of special to me so that is my second okay. all stitched together all right, so over the last month we've been reading, we've been to a yarn festival. Yeah, which I'll put in some. Oops. And I'll put in some footage, or not necessarily footage, but pictures of the event Yellow Rose on the Coast at the end of this, so stick around if you're interested in that. It was fabulous. It was yeah. a great weekend. We had so much fun seeing our friends, um, spending time with other vendors, visiting with them, getting to know them better. Mm -hmm. um, I did a little shopping, Rachel didn't, um, but it yeah. was just, it was a wonderful weekend. Um, my husband went with us so he could go fishing. We endured sharing a room together. He snores extremely loud, so he kept Rachel and I awake yeah. most of the weekend. Um, that was not fun, no, but it wasn't. we survived. We did. Yeah, we got to walk on the beach Sunday morning before we came home and saw sea turtles swimming and yeah, which was really fun. It was it was fabulous. I can't wait to go back to Corpus Christi again. Yeah. So okay, so. What we have for the 500 subscriber slash friend giveaway mm -hmm. um, is a skein of Ba yarn. What's the colorway? And it's my sweet Valentine. Oh, perfect for February. Yeah. It's kind of blowing out in the screen. I'm it hold it, it back. is very saturated. I just don't think that it's going to show up right. Yeah, it's got some tangerine and orange and hot, hot pink in mm -hmm. it. It's a two ply. And it's 100% superwash merino wool. Yeah. And then we have this little knitting notebook or crochet. It also has options in here for crochet. So you can write down like how much yarn you use, what mm -hmm. yarn, those kinds of things. Kind of like a little knitting journal. Yeah. And then we have Tea in Texas, uh, Yellow Rose of Texas Black Tea, and it's Made in Texas. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we have Beyond Clean Baby Unicorn. Um, this is a really great soap to use when you're hand washing hand knits. Especially or, socks. Yeah. It really gets things clean. Very clean. And is... One of our favorite washes. Definitely. So if you're interested in winning the giveaway, comment below with your favorite segment on the podcast. Where just thought that would be a great question to ask and yeah. we're just grateful to have you all here and yes. yeah can't wait to hear what you guys say 
And we've thought about, we've talked a lot lately about different places in Houston. Mm -hmm. um, Houston is the fourth largest city in the United States and it has so much to offer yeah. and so many things to do that we thought we might want to share that with all of you. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, just, they have nature preserves, parks, uh, sculpture yeah. gardens, those kinds of things. Lots of museums. Lots of museums. Um, yeah, so many things to do. Mm -hmm. Beautiful little coffee shops that are quaint. Um, so if you're interested in seeing a little segment like places you can knit, Abby, Abby come here. Stop. She's starting to make noise She's again. Root, rooting on the bed and making um, noise. Yeah. So if you guys are interested in hearing a segment like that, like showing Houston to yeah. you um, and sharing places where we like to go or that we haven't been yet that would like to go to, and yeah, let us know. Let us know. Uh, and this one's hustling me to pick her up now. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Oh, puppy love. Mm -hmm. <sighs> where yeah. one is, the other one has to be. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. Okay, um, Owl Post. Mm -hmm. I did a little shopping at Yellow Rose on the Coast, and I want to share it with you. I have been eyeing Lone Wolf Fibers, and they are out of Frederick Fredericksburg, Texas, um, for quite some time now. And I finally pulled the trigger and bought uh, this beautiful skein of sport weight yarn called Cowboy. And it is 100% blue face Lesseter. And I have two other skeins of sport weight alpaca bamboo in my stash, and one skein of, well, those are two different browns. And then I have one skein of natural cream. And I thought the blues and the browns and the cream would make a beautiful triangle shawl. Yeah, it definitely would. So I think that um, that will be on the needles sometime this year. Mm -hmm. um, and I might just make it up as I go. I don't know. We'll see. The other thing I got was Blue Stag Fiber. Red Stag. Um, Red Stag. I said Blue Stag because I got a blue skein. Mm -hmm. Duh. Red Stag Fiber. Um, the colorway is Lock and it is his Estate DK 100% Superwash Wool. This is screaming to become a barley hat. And I mean it is like screaming to become one like right now. So I'm thinking of caking up this bad boy this weekend and casting on. Yeah. So it is oh so scrumptious. The last thing I got was from Euphoria Knits. And we got to meet her this weekend and get to know her or mm -hmm. at a Yellow Rose. She was so sweet. Yeah. Um, this is poorly represented because I have taken it apart and retwisted it together. So it is called Calypso on her Frenzy Twist. And Rachel, let me trade for this one. Mm -hmm. And I have three other skeins. I have this one from Savvy Skeins, which is a, um, I think it's English tea. I have from Cherry Pie Cottage. Uh, private time with my yarn, and I have candy sh or yeah, candy shop yarn and lavender lemonade, and I think this is going to be my new um, so faded. Mm -hmm. So all of these are being housed in my by the bay yarn co tote, which is got two handles. And when I feel like it, I will cast on the So Faded sweater. Yeah, awesome. What is in your owl post, Rachel? Um, so I got two skeins of opal off Etsy. Mm -hmm. This is in the Symphony of Dreams collection or line. Yeah. And the colorway is 9610. And it's a lot of tangerines and pinks and yellows, little tiny pops of blue and green. So, so pretty. It's got a Bright really and cheerful. Yeah. Yeah. Love that. And then I got from their Safari line color number 9531 and this is blues and aquas, tangerine and little bits of chartreuse. So pretty. And mm. yeah, so those are my two opal skeins that I got. And then, which is so affordable. I was on Instagram 
and I saw that Mustache Yarns had a new colorway added to her Great Reads collection. Mm -hmm. And since I have been reading Tolkien, Lord of the Rings, I'm on the final one, yeah. I thought it was fitting to get There and Back, A Journey to Middle Earth, which is inspired by Tolkien's work. Um, yeah, so I'm excited. It's got lots of greens and purples and so blues pretty. and then tiny little bits of brown in it And it's gonna be a long self-striping repeat So it'll be really fun to knit up whenever I get around to it. That will be fun And that's all that I have bought over the past month. Yeah, you've been really You're always very good about what you add to your yeah. stash and very minimal and you've been paying off mm -hmm. your medical bills and yeah and i'll be paying that off for the majority of this year so <laughs> probably in december when it's finally paid off yeah so yeah. you know bit by bit and mm -hmm. it's done and it gets done yeah. so buying things might be a little more minimal than that's okay my average but i have lots of pretty yarn in the stash to knit so that's yeah. the the golden lining. Yeah. Yeah. Silver lining. Silver not lining. lining. Yeah. Me and words today. It's okay. Anyway, I think that we will see you in two weeks. Yeah. And Hopefully. I will add in <laughs> some footage of, well, again, like I said earlier, photos, not footage, of Yellow Rose on the Coast. Yes. And, and if you, yeah, want to be part of the, the 500 friend giveaway, Enter below. Mm -hmm. Tell us what your favorite part is, or if you want to see um, Houston and what yeah. it has to offer, let us know. And your comment below will enter you, and yep. we'll draw that prize next time we podcast. Definitely. So thank so. you for watching. Bye. Bye.